Glasgow's good form continues as they inflict only a second defeat of the season on the Stormers. My name is Mark. Let's talk rugby. This game is pretty even at the start. You know, both teams having chances. Stormers, they make a breakthrough. Wilmsa, we have a great cross kick from Le Boc and it forces Stain to take it and go into touch. Five minute liner then to the Stormers. Glasgow though defend it well and they drive them all into touch. And they then from go quickly from their own line out and are able to clear the ball. Councillieri then he makes a break down the wing. He exchanges passes with Hugh Jones and he goes over without anybody putting a, a mid on him at all. Horn then misses the conversion, but Glasgow are ahead 5 0. Then a penalty to Stormers, Blomacquiz, um, he's taken it in the air from a high ball. Stormers, they try to go quickly, but Bean cynically stops them. He gets a yellow card for his troubles. Stormers then kick to the corner. We have advantage from the mall and we come, they can't get over, so we come back to the penalty, go into the corner again, they get advantage again. And this time, Dweber breaks off the back and he goes over. Leboc converts that one from out wide and Stormers are ahead 7-5. But Glasgow, they come straight back at them. Dempsey, he makes a half break and puts the Stormers in the back foot. It's spread wide and Stain goes over in the left corner. Horn, he's a bit closer with the conversion attempt, but misses again. But still, Glasgow nudge back ahead 10-7. Stormers then have penalty advantage. There's another great cross kick from Leboc. It almost gets them in, but Stain defends it pretty well. We come back for the penalty. Leboc kicks the penalty dead. Scrum back. Glasgow um, get themselves back to 15 players then. Stormers win a scrum penalty as Glasgow collapse. They kick that deep into the 22. Glasgow um, are able to do splinter and halt the mall. Ball is spread then, uh, but it breaks down. Uh, so we come back for our high tackle advantage to the Stormers. They then kick into the opposite corner. The mall goes within a couple of meters of the line. They're going with one, one out runners. They then uh, spread the ball and Blom Keys goes over. The Bach misses the conversion. Stormers back ahead. 12-10 game really seesawing between these two. Stormers then they get themselves another scrum penalty. And on that one it felt like the but the penalty could have gone either way. Um but they, they have themselves a good attacking position from the line out. They go through the phases and they get it within five meters, but Glasgow then win the penalty at the breakdown. Dweber um then is not straight from a line out on the stroke of half time. Glasgow are able to break from the scrum and they go close, but um, there's like a blind uh, kind of offload, finds a stormer they're able to clear. Half time is 12 10 to the stormers. Pretty entertaining stuff from these two teams. Then in the second half, to Pilatu, he makes a burst for Glasgow. Um, and the guy's actually he's running backwards, but still making. Making forward progress, except that you'd have to watch the highlights to see what I mean. Um, but that that guy really is some player. Um, Glasgow then they, they kick the upfield, um, and they win a penalty. Um, kits off, he carries well for the Stormers, but he gets isolated. Glasgow kicked the penalty into the corner. Frido gets over the ball, and the Stormers are able to clear from that penalty. We then have um, a pretty rare event. Um, scrum half, he's told to use the ball at the back of one of these caterpillars and the referee actually pings him for us. So we get scrum to Glasgow. Stain makes a break down the wing off the back of that. Dempsey is able to carry deep into the 22. Hugh Jones then steps his way through the Stormers defense to score. Like there's some really class play in this game. It's definitely worth checking the highlights out. It's converted by Horn and Glasgow again back in front 
1712. We didn't have little errors creeping into the Stormers game. They, you know, knock ons are letting Glasgow off the hook as Stormers are trying to build some pressure, get themselves back ahead. Dempsey um, rolls into the ball when he's trying to roll away. Definite penalty to the Stormers. They kick it to the edge of the 22. The Maul um, kind of crabs across the field into the middle of the field. Glasgow um, are able to make it unplayable and turn it over. Fraser Brown um, then comes on for his 100th appearance in the URC. Um, Glasgow get a um, penalty of scrum time. The Stormers kind of like wheeling it. Um, then we have a bit of handbags after that. Obviously, you know, something was said. Um, Stormers not really agreeing with the, with the call on it either. Um, things calm down though, but we have a missed touch from penalty. Um, from Glasgow, Stormers are able to come back. They're starting to build some pressure and they win the penalty for themselves. Glasgow, they're defending well, but they're not really offering any threat going forward, um, at this point. And it's kind of dangerous, you know, they're living dangerously with only a five point lead. Stormers did then go close, um, from the mall. Um, Pocamela, um, forces his way over to score and the box, um, he pulls the conversion wide. Number 17 all and all square at this stage. And Glasgow was kind of finding it hard to make ground. Kitsoff gets over the ball to win another penalty for the Stormers. Lebok, though, he misses a pretty um, kickable penalty and we stay at 17 all. Glasgow then uh, knock on from the restart and really feels like they're inviting pressure on themselves. Stormers get the nudge into scrum again, but they're angling across and Glasgow get the penalty. Glasgow then finally get themselves back into the Storm's half. Um, play, though, is stopped because uh, Brown is down due to an injury and he's basically the play is on top of him. So he has to go off. Um, so not a memorable 100th appearance for him, unfortunately. Um, Glasgow do, though, find themselves um, a second win after a bit of a break. They begin finding gaps again. And you just feel like you just need to put it all together to get the score that will put them ahead. Stormers are putting in some great defense, really dominant in the tackle and really great line speed for them as well. Wilms though kicks out on the full and he gives Glasgow a chance to attack. They break down the wing. Cancellieri draws the cover and puts it out to Stain. And David's managed to, or yeah, David's, I think. Managed to get him into touch with a great covering tackle. Um, Stormers, um, you know, they have a five meter defensive line out. Glasgow were able to turn it over in the mall. They get a five meter attacking scrum. Penalty, um, to the Warriors then at the scrum. They call for a scrum again, which is a really gutsy call given that the Stormers have been dominant in the scrum for most of the game. Glasgow, though, they're able to get the ball out. They spread it. Um, but they're losing ground. They do work their way back into the 22. Two Palata then kicks through and Cancellieri wins the race to score and he wins the game. Um, Mayotti adds the extras from the conversion and really was a great game of rugby. It's only the second defeat, as I said, of the season for the Stormers and you know, Glasgow, they could have folded in that second half, but they dug in and came through for a very memorable win in the end.